and we back for another quick weeknight dinner and it's hot outside it's summertime we don't like the heat over here it's 90 degrees outside so if y'all like us y'all should know that it's too hot to be cooking on a stove trying to cook a whole weeknight dinner meal mm -mm. and then you gotta turn your air on because you're too hot running up your electric bill we don't have to do all that so i'm gonna show you an easy weeknight dinner some chicken salad sandwiches that my family loves and yours will too. What they say, you gotta work smarter, not harder. Well, we gonna cook cooler, not hotter. Let's get cooking, y'all. So here we go. This is the chicken that we're gonna use today. It's hot and ready. It's a rotisserie style chicken. Our local grocery store sells these every day, hot and ready off the hot bar. So if y'all have never tried these, if your grocery store sells them, you better get with it. And these are perfect for weeknight dinners because you don't have to do nothing. If your grocery store sells these and you have not purchased one, what y'all waiting on? Y'all need to make this dish after you watch this today. And although I said we're not gonna use the stove, this is optional, okay? I'm gonna caramelize some onions, but if you wanna put some raw onions in it, you can. And we do that all the time, but I just want that caramelized flavor in it today. And we're not going to use regular bread. I bought some croissants. These are the mini croissants. It's a perfect size for them. You know, just grab and go. And then we're going to eat these with some chips and dip tonight and call it a day. And then to take it a step further, I got a couple pieces of bacon left. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the air fryer. Not on the stove for daddy because I know he probably going to want a piece on his sandwich to hook it up a little better. So we're just going to go ahead and add some oil to these caramelized onions. Get them nice and going. So let us know if y'all like caramelized onions in your chicken salad sandwich too. And if you never tried it, y'all have to after this. Just going to add a little bit of salt so they can go ahead and sweat out and get the cooking good. So now we can go ahead and start breaking this chicken down, but don't it look good? Y'all ever go to like y'all Peruvian places and you like the rotisserie chicken? This is what it is. And you know, just get it from your local grocery store and you don't have to do too much to it. Take this little rubber band off of it because it still come with this rubber band on it to keep it intact. And then this juice right here, don't throw that away. Just keep that right in there because that's still gonna be some more flavor inside your chicken salad. I'm gonna put these wings to the side because this is daddy's favorite part of the chicken. See these little wings? It's gonna go ahead and separate that. And then you'll just break it apart like you would any other regular whole chicken. Just taking all the bones off, making sure you get all the gristle out the chicken. Break it down, y'all. Y'all know that leftover Thanksgiving turkey or that whole chicken that y'all normally cook. It's the same thing. And then for these bigger pieces, I just take my little paring knife right here and just chop it down. So that way you don't have to shred it up too much because you really don't want to shred it up. Well, I don't shred mine up a lot. I like to more so cut it into chunky pieces, like little bite-sized square pieces. But you can do this part however you want to. And then you're just going to take this whole bone off. You know, make sure you get all that meat because it's the dark meat. And that's the best part of the chicken is the dark meat because it's nice and juicy. You know, once you get to that breast, that's the more drier pieces which is why the chicken salad is so good because that mayonnaise absorbs into that breast and makes it taste delicious and i like to keep some of the skin in the chicken salad but like big pieces like this i'll just go ahead and take that out you don't really need that much that's too much y'all but peekaboo pieces where you can't really tell that's fine so this is what one rotisserie chicken breaks down to now we are still gonna season this chicken because when you taste it, it still tastes like regular chicken. So we still need to add a little bit of flavor to this. We still can't skip that step. I said we're not cooking on the stove, but I didn't say we wasn't gonna season our food, okay? So we're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. And we don't need too much of nothing, y'all. Just a little bit of something, something. A little bit of this chicken bouillon. And then whenever I cook chicken, I still like to use this poultry seasoning, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And then normally I'll add some cayenne pepper because that adds a little bit of extra spice to it, but I don't have any more. So we're just going to use a little bit of this crushed red chili flakes. 
If you don't like the spice level, then you don't have to put that in there. Just leave it out. All right. And then from here, you can just stir it up. And the reason why I'm putting the seasoning on the chicken first, because, you know, you want more of that seasoning on the chicken flavor. Because we still going to add our mayonnaise and, you know, any other condiment that you want to add. But still put the seasoning on first. So that way it can absorb in that chicken. They looking good. What y'all think? So our onions are pretty much done. I'm going to just go ahead and let these cool off just for a quick second because I'm adding that mayonnaise in there. I don't want to put these piping hot onions in the chicken. So I'm going to put these to the side, let them cool off, and then we're going to add it. On to the mayo. Now, do y'all care about the brand of mayonnaise that y'all use or it don't matter? The last time I bought some mayonnaise, I bought the Kraft mayonnaise and daddy was like, oh, why you buy that Kraft mayonnaise? And I'm looking at him like it's, it's still mayonnaise. <laughs> But for me, I'm not a mayonnaise person, so it really doesn't matter. But what y'all feel about the mayonnaise? Whipped mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise, low-fat mayonnaise. What kind of mayonnaise y'all use? Start off with two squeezes. Because you don't want no dry chicken salad. But depending on how much chicken you got, that'll determine how much mayonnaise you put. Because if you like us, we don't like a dry chicken salad sandwich. So that part, y'all got to judge for yourself. Put as much mayonnaise as you need. And then we have some gray poop on here. Some mustard. Oh, it didn't pop like it normally do. Normally, daddy be on here trying to pop the tops. Because this Dijon is strong, so you don't need a lot. And you can hear the creaminess in it. That's how you know you got enough. And once you get it mixed in good... It's pretty much there. We're going to go ahead and add the onions. Now, we don't use celery. A lot of people put celery in their chicken salad sandwiches. But if y'all been watching our channel, you notice that we never cook with celery. We just don't like the taste of it. But this is looking good. And then once you get it all mixed in, what y'all got to do, y'all should know that by now, we're going to taste it. Make sure it tastes good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and taste it, see if we need to add anything. Mm. 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 I don't need nothing, y'all. That's perfect. If anything, I'm just probably going to add just a little bit more of these. It's really not that spicy, y'all. I know y'all probably like, girl, that's enough spice. You just need that little kick in the background. But the mayonnaise level is perfect. And I'm probably just going to add a little tad more of this. That's it. Now, this is what she looks like up close. I'm going to go ahead and sit this in the refrigerator. Let it get cool for a minute while we prep our croissants. And then we're going to be ready to put the sandwiches together. We're going to go ahead and get these croissants ready. Because these croissants, what we about to do to them, is going to take it to a whole nother level. I'm telling y'all. These croissants, once you toast them, they're going to make that sandwich taste even better. And smack delicious. And if you watched our chili cheese dog video, y'all seen what we did to them buns. And I'm telling you, them buns was bomb. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and take you your paring knife, and then you're just gonna slice that croissant right in half. Oh yes. Now you can eat it just like this, but y'all know we gotta do something different to it. And then I got some melted butter right here. We're going to go ahead and just add some of that melted butter on top, just like that. On both sides, because we want to get that nice, crispy texture on that croissant. So when you bite into that sandwich, you get that nice little crunch on it. And it just adds another little texture to it. Y'all, that's what it's all about. Just adding textures and layers of flavor. Okay, so this pan is hot and ready. So I can fit about three croissants on here at one time. And you don't have to leave them on here too long, just long enough to get that little crisp on them. And then, you know, just brush it with that little excess butter because y'all got to make these things shiny and glistening. Y'all know how we do it. Y'all know how we love to rub down our food and make it look pretty any chance we get. Just like your mama say, don't go out that house looking ashy. Put some lotion on. We're going to treat these croissants the same way. We got to rub a little, you know, extra little something, something on the top of them. So they won't be looking all dry. <laughs> don't do that to y'all food. You know, treat it right. 
all right so once you see the smoke start smoking up from your croissants you can just go ahead and flip it over look at that they got that nice little crisp on it oh yeah y'all know how to do it this is exactly what we want y'all okay we're gonna get that nice thing with a nice effect and then these we can go ahead and take it off they ready we just gonna go ahead and sit those to the side but be careful when you take them off the pan because they are super flimsy right now and breakable okay by the time you finish manhandling them you ain't gonna have no bread so take your time we're gonna go ahead and just get the rest of these toasted up and we'll be back chicken salad i just went on ahead and took it out the refrigerator but y'all i almost forgot to tell y'all one thing i needed to add in here i almost forgot my sour cream yeah i know we love sour cream pretty much in about everything we always keep it in the house and i try to use it up whenever i can which is why i use it so much because it goes in a lot of dishes and you don't need a lot just enough to taste it and then we're just gonna get that one more stir. And another reason why you wanna make sure you add enough mayonnaise to it is because y'all gotta think about this. You let your chicken salad sit in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight or however long, it's gonna soak up all that moisture in the chicken. So you can't start off dry, let it sit in the refrigerator, absorb more moisture. So y'all, just please make sure you add enough moisture to it. And these are small, so we don't need a lot. So we're just going, you know, put enough on it, make it look nice, and then put the top on it, and then there you go. Don't that look good? And these will be perfect for parties, and not just the summertime, but you can eat these all year round. Even with turkey, you know, if you try to find ways to use up your turkey during the holidays, make some turkey salad the same way. It's going to taste just as good. Mm. We're going to go ahead and put all these together. Now, make sure you don't go nowhere because I'm going to show y'all how Daddy like to eat his chicken salad. And I'm curious to see if y'all do this too. It's crazy, okay? So, let me know. with some chips and dip. How easy was that weeknight dinner? See y'all later. Bye! Bye. The best the best ever. Thank you, Porter. Tell them, see you later. Bye!